Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And today I wanna show you a brand new to us light that we've uh, been working on for a while from our own brand, the Dominar Par N for Nano. Let's dive in. Okay, so Many of you may or may not be aware, but we actually have a line of products called Dominar that is custom made for us, and they're all waterproof outdoor rated lights. But some of them are also really great for indoor stuff. And today we're gonna talk all about this. So secretly in the last couple months of videos, in this truss here, I have had a blue truss uplight. I mean, we've had different blue truss uplights over time. But that has been the Dominar Par N for the last few months, and it does an awesome job. It looks really good. Today, we've got them in stock, and we want to show you guys what this is and why you might care about it, even if you don't need a waterproof light. Okay, so what is it? This is essentially um, answering the question. It's a light that answers the question, hey, how do we make a small, really low power light for our customers who light a lot of trees and don't have a lot of power available. Okay, that's where the idea came from initially. But since we've gotten it and been testing, it's actually good for a lot of other applications on stages. Let's talk about why. So first of all, it's really small. I mean, you can see it here. It's three 10 watt LEDs that are RGBA. Now, just because there's no white or no lime doesn't mean it can't make pretty good whites. It, it really does. So this is a great fixture for a few setups. One, smaller stages. If you need, for example, to just light up some backdrop panels that are behind a small stage in a darker area, then this is an awesome light for you. And honestly, like this thing's fanless, it's silent, it dims really well. Like, Having a small 25 degree spread light like this to light up things like that, set pieces, et cetera, it really works really well. Um, it's also a great light if you need just a little ambient lighting across the ceiling or something like that. Uh, as you can see, even on this black LED wall, which is designed to not capture light, it pops really well. And you can see brightness wise, it's competing with this Martin Mac 1 right? And it's competing with this Volux Spectra 300 and keeping up in this small space pretty well. This could also be a really cool like miniature blinder kind of light to be able to shine in the eyes of the audience, but actually be able to run it at a percentage where you can actually see it. This is also going to be a good light for gigging bands. I've had people, you know, recently and over time ask about, okay, hey, I'm in a gigging band. How do I fit more stuff into my car? Well, you know, two of these on a tripod stand, or we even have a gator um, speaker top thing that you can hang lights off of, would be an awesome gigging band front light. And you can see it's plenty bright on me in colors, in white, it excels. So what are we looking at? The physical, okay, this is really cool. So instead of the typical split yoke design that most PARs have, we've been able to do a nice flat single yoke design. So you're not messing around with yokes that's not falling over. It still has a hole for clamp mounting, two knobs on the sides, waterproof cables coming out the back. Okay, now, something you don't see on a lot of fixtures this size is that we can actually chain these cables together. They come with adapters to regular DMX. You can chain them together and then you don't even need to buy any other DMX cables if they're within the range of these cables, which is about um, we've got the measurement on the spec, but it's it's a couple feet on each. You chain them together and you can go pretty far. Power is also chained through these waterproof plastic plugs as well. Again, if you're gentle with these, if you're not doing like, if you're not like a production company that's that's really beaten on their stuff, these will last a long, long, long time. They, they don't break, they're really well made. We include an inlet cord, of course, and then you can just chain a lot of these together. We've got it on our spec, like 50 or something. And, you know, now no cables, easy to set up, can leave it mounted to truss or whatever and use it on your shows. I think, you know, this is just a really cool light that I honestly, when we came up with it at first, I wasn't intending on using it for stage use. But the more I look at it, it's like, hey, whether you need a waterproof light or not, 
This is like a little, you know, super compact, silent light source with good dimming, way better dimming than inexpensive PARs that are on the market, um, way better color quality than those, you know, just the depth of the colors, how they look, how the beam looks through the air, like beats all of those, but price-wise, it's right in line with a lot of that stuff or less. Check these out, guys. Um, if you got any questions, of course, always let us know. But I'm, I'm really pumped about these just because it's like, hey, it's a small, compact light. You can use it if you're gigging outside and not have to worry about it or just use it inside. Use it, you know, in areas where you need to splash some color on some walls. Use it for set designs in smaller spaces like a kid's space in a church or something like that. These things are just really cool and I think um, I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. So definitely check that out. If you ever need ideas or you're like, hey, I wonder if this light will work for me or not, here at Above AVL and Learn Stage Lighting Gear, we love to help. Fill out our contact form or add some stuff to your cart and then go ahead and add that to a quote. Let us know what questions you have. We're here to help and serve you. And we'll see you guys in our next video, as long as you're subscribed. Thanks.